<coughs> right, okay, okay. Hi, I'm Don Lex, filmmaker, DJ, and broadcaster. I first became sort of fashion conscious with the first movement of the skinheads. And then morphed from sort of skinhead to soul boy, and then mid to late 70s, the whole punk thing exploded. It showed you a way that you could get involved, that you could actually be part of a subcultural movement, besides just being a fan. Well, I've been wearing Fred Perry for ages, but I was approached by them last year to do something for their 60th anniversary. We both came up with the idea of doing a documentary on the history of British youth subcultures. For many of us, and it, it's not just a black thing, it's a working class thing particularly, you know, the clothes that you had on your back were the only way that you could create an identity. I think the reason subcultures have been so prevalent in this country, there's several reasons actually. I mean, one of them is the fact that England is a t effectively a tiny island. So it's possible for s ideas to spread really quickly. And also the story of multiculturalism. I'm first generation British born black. So at home I had all that Jamaican stuff, but at school, you know, I'm getting the Beatles, I'm getting the Stones, I'm getting Led Zeppelin. It kind of gave me this weird duality, which back in the early 70s, which was a really confusing concept. And it wasn't until, I don't know, maybe the mid 80s that being black and British actually began to mean something. It's made me realize that it's through understanding our differences that's actually brought us closer together. And it's funny because I think in the 21st century where those identifiable youth, style-driven youth movements have kind of disappeared. I've got a 25-year-old um, son and a 21-year-old daughter, and they've told me that, Dad, things are so hard these days that, you know, they think it's more important to get their heads together rather than their hairdos. And I can sort of dig that. It's all about new values. In the 21st century, you know, if you want to be on MTV, if you want to walk on the red carpet, you know, how radical can you be? But the minute you say, you know what, I don't want that. The internet's there now, it's made it possible for me to achieve my goals in other ways. And the minute you realize that and you have these new values, the world's an amazing place, man. What have I learned from doing the Fred Perry Project? I've learned that I'm as old as rock and roll. I've learned that being young ain't what it used to be. And you know what? I wouldn't swap my journey for anything. <laughs>